No sooner do I film a film on happiness than I find walking to a place called The Perch in Oxford. Pop, I must admit I've never been to before and I'm not about to take a tipple now, a bit early in the morning. Um, I've enjoyed my six miles along the river this morning more than uh, I think I would enjoy um, a drink here, a pint here. Um, so I've been talking about happiness and I just wanted to add an addendum. Um, it's not highfalutin a word, too highfalutin a word. My addendum is this. Um, if you want a shortcut to happiness, try Buddhism. Not just the Buddhism light that's in on the actionforhappiness.org website. So, um, what's Buddhism? I'm not going to answer that question at present. Um, but basically, what's central in Buddhism? Hmm, central is a big word. Two main prayers. Two main prayers in Buddhism. Uh, may everyone be happy. May everyone be free. From, yeah, may everyone be free from suffering. May everyone be happy. Is part of the metta bhavana, the cultivation of loving kindness. That was the knockout blow for me 13 years ago when I first discovered Buddhism. I found that you could actively work on your mental states and generate loving kindness, where previously there was bitterness. You know, end of a relationship or a bit of um, deceit or whatever the labels I had around around um, the behaviour. Um, I had a very strong reaction to it. That strong reaction led me to read about the Four Noble Truths, as they're called, you know, to understand about the nature of suffering. And that suffering, door is caused by attachment. So blindingly obvious, and yet so profound. And so there is a way to work on our attachments. And then, yeah, to transcend things. So, what else to say? The other main prayer, so to speak, uh, is, well, the other main meditation is mindfulness meditation. So, uh, the sentence. that's why I'm laughing. We need to be mindful of four things. Um, the four foundations of mindfulness are our mindfulness of breath, mindfulness of body, mindfulness of intention, and some other form of mindfulness. By the time I start leading the mindfulness courses at Southwater Centre, based on the book Living with Full Attention, you will definitely be able to count on me to know what the four foundations of mindfulness are. And you don't need to pay with money, because I'm into alternative economies. You can time bank um, your payment, i.e. agree to work a certain number of hours for a set range of projects, one of which will be adding items of yours onto streetbank.com. So if you spend as many hours adding items of yours onto streetbank.com as you do coming to the Life with Full Attention workshops, then we're fair and square. Yeah. Anyhow, more about alternative economics another time, but it is a great source of future wealth and happiness, I would suggest, if we start sharing what we have and paying forward in a structured way, first of all, uh, our hours, so that we give hours and they, um, people give hours and the hours go to other things. Sorry, I'm not explaining this well. This wasn't going to be about alternative economics. Back to the Buddha for a few moments. Oh, I've just seen another one. Hey, sorry, mate, I'm going <laughs> to... I reckon this place must be run by those funny Buddhists. Yes. Buddha Shakyamuni, freshly garlanded. I'll leave you with him for a few seconds. <laughs>